It's a condition you don't hear about, but it's one that makes it impossible for some people to sit without severe pain. Our Dr. Karen Johnson tells us more in today's Focus on Health. After years of trying, Celeste Lip and her husband were ecstatic to finally have a baby girl. You know, she's our miracle baby. As Celeste recovered from the pains of birth, she still experienced excruciating pain whenever she was sitting. She was frustrated by what was causing it. Usually with childbirth, it's actually the nerve being stretched between two ligaments, very broad, heavy ligaments. In cyclists, it's the same thing. Cyclists are very athletic and the ligaments actually become enlarged and the nerve becomes entrapped. Celeste finally learned she had pudendal nerve entrapment. This nerve sits between two ligaments just below the sacrum and provides control and sensation to the bladder, genitalia, and rectum. At first it started out just feeling like there was a knife blade caught inside, and now it just feels like the, the skin is in addition, the skin is abraded. It feels like it should be bleeding. Celeste tried injections into the nerve to block the pain, but they weren't successful. So she decided to have a surgical procedure to correct it. We cut the ligaments and we open up this little channel that it runs in deep in the pelvis and free the nerve up and then actually shift it into a new location where it's not under any tension at all. So if you're experiencing severe pain when sitting, you see many doctors and still aren't sure what's going on, you may have pudendal nerve entrapment. So discuss this option with your doctor. With today's Focus on Health, I'm Dr. Karen Johnson. this living with pain so severe that you go from doctor to doctor and no one can help you and imagine not being able to sit it's no laughing matter medical reporter christy myers here with a new treatment that's going to give some relief and a problem too with diagnosis art the pain is so severe most people can't sit but it's embarrassing then when they go to the doctor it's usually misdiagnosed right and my body was Gina Kiesler was an avid cyclist until she took a rough fall off her bike. She landed on her bottom, causing an injury that began a decade of pain. It's unbearable. It's intractable. It's unspeakable. I call it a modern torture. Gina, who lives in Indianapolis, went to some 40 medical specialists before coming to Houston for a new surgery. To, to take a person who is, you know, confident, who has every reason to live their life, to have suicidal ideations, um, uh, this is a, a, you know, saving grace. Dr. Kenneth Rainey knows how bad her pain is. He had it, too, after being hit by a car as he rode his bicycle. The worst problem is that you can't sit, and socially, you're really restricted in what you can do. Your life resolves around sitting in the chair in the recliner so that you don't have pain. The injury causes the pudendal nerve, which goes to the rectum, bladder, and reproductive organs, to be squeezed by ligaments. Rennie saw a dozen doctors before going to France for no, surgery. He then took a Houston team back for training. Went over, and we spent two weeks there, and we learned the French technique so that I could bring them back French trained so that we can offer this to American patients. And it's not just cyclists that can have this kind of pain. It can happen to people who wrestle. It can happen after a fall if you're rollerblading or ice skating. And it can even occur after childbirth or after gynecological surgery. Gina came from Indianapolis for surgery. When they release the pressure on the nerve, she has a 60% chance of being cured. To go through it um, on an hourly basis with no end in sight is um, just a living hell. We hope this is the end in sight. After today's surgery, Gina may have immediate relief or it could take up to two years. For more information on pudendal pain, we've linked our website to Memorial Hermans. The hospital's P&E team has treated 115 patients in less than two years. Almost all were misdiagnosed by other doctors. With today's Health Check, I'm Christy Myers. From Houston's News Leader, this is 13 Eyewitness News, live at 5. I'm Christy Myers. Imagine not being able to sit because of the pain. How one young woman who was suicidal had her life turned around. That story coming up later on Live at 5. She suffered from unspeakable pain that prevented her from even sitting down. It would take a person who is, you know, confident, who has every reason to live their life, to have suicidal ideations. Um, uh, this is a, a, you know, saving grace. 
13's Christy Myers with how she got the pain to stop. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we told you about a young woman who had so much pain that she couldn't even sit down. In fact, she became suicidal. What happened was a bicycle fall first caused that pain, but after a decade, she became desperate. So this is the story of how her life was changed. And my body was... This was Gina Kiesler two weeks ago. In so much pain, she couldn't sit down. To go through it um, on an hourly basis with no end in sight is um, just a living hell. The pain began when this long-distance bicycle rider fell off and landed on her seat. It's unbearable. It's intractable. It's unspeakable. I call it a modern torture. She saw more than 40 medical specialists in Indiana before coming to Houston for a new surgery she prayed would help. To take a person who is, you know, confident, who has every reason to live their life, to have suicidal ideations, um, uh, this is a, a, you know, saving grace. It's a terribly disabling syndrome. Uh, people have a horrible burning pain in their bottom. The pudendal nerve, which goes to the rectum, bladder, and reproductive organs, can get trapped or squeezed between ligaments. And we cut those ligaments, releasing the nerve. And then once we've done that, it takes time in most people for the for the nerve to recover. Surgeons at Memorial Hermann Southwest had to go to France to learn the surgery. I can have my vitality back, my personality, my energy, my zest for life. And this was Gina only three days after surgery. I really don't feel any of the deep aching or the burning sensations that I would have deep in my buttock area. Um, and that's just really exciting. Christy Myers, 13 Eyewitness News.